Hi, this time I will look inside this uh, Bradford's uh, TC7510 DAC. It's a 24-bit, uh, 96 kilo um, hertz uh, sampling frequency, digital to analog converter. Uh, just take the lid off right away. Um, there's nothing really to see on the bottom. In the back, it has um, two electrical inputs, uh, digital inputs, and two opticals. Um, and then it has two outputs. It has uh, one that is uh, variable and one that is fixed. So there is a volume control on the, on the front, so you can control it, and it is powered by 12 volt DC. Uh, it's relatively simple. Power button, it's a soft button, so it's not like a really powered on off. Uh, input selector, phone output, and then the volume control. If you look inside this one, um, this is the control board. Um, there's a lot of uh, articles on the web how to modify this how to uh, replace some of the op amps and uh, to upgrade this uh, so if it uh, if you introduce it yourself stuff and uh, upgrade things this could be um, something that could be of your interest but now you can see inside how it looks uh, unmodified so uh, there's not much to it um, it's a relatively simple construction there's a simple power control power supply to it. It's um, this is a European one, uh, but it, as you can see, goes from a hundred to two hundred and forty volt AC. So I guess you can get it with another plug, but inside it's the same. Um, there's not much more to say about it. Um, I bought it originally for a do-it-yourself project. Um, ended up with something else. So now I actually have it up for sale, but um, yeah, I think it's relatively okay to to play around with it. Uh, um, let's see if I can see here the. I guess this might be the the duct chip. This is definitely a poor brown chip. Um, yeah. Can't really call it that what this brand is. Okay, but um, so now we have a close up, so we have something to to look at. Okay, hope you enjoyed it.